Welcome again to Echo Aquarium Systems. As you can see from this picture, we were faced with a unique challenge to solve. The stand here is actually braced in the middle with a solid wall. So we had to come up with a way to connect two little sumps in the middle with some PVC pipe to make it one large sump. Um, the client will have enough space now for a skimmer a refugium, a return pump, filter socks, our typical crash chamber, and all of that in the stand. So no more ugly sump next to the aquarium. Now after all the fun of cutting all of the pieces, I marked them all so I don't make a mistake uh, in assembling them. But here's what we end up with, a big old pile of plastic to be assembled into a functioning sump. Speaking of assembly, here are the windows going in being fitted. And next we go to the most rewarding part of this entire process. Every single time I get a chance to put one of these pieces together and see it all come together. It is so rewarding. It does take some time, but hey, in the end we have a beautiful product. not ever have enough clamps. Currently the sumps are upside down and we are placing the bottoms on them. These milk jugs you see going up are actually just weights. They are actually filled with concrete so they help me in making sure that everything is glued down properly and nothing moves. After assembly is done, we test all of our products for two entire days to make sure we don't have any leaks. After all, we don't want to ship something, let's say to Iowa, and have it leak on a client. We don't want to send them a bad product, so we take the extra step and the extra time to make sure that does not happen.
Here they are all finished. On your left, you have your crash chamber, your filter sock chamber, then your skimmer area. Next are the bulkheads, and following that is the refugium, and finally the return chamber, and some dosing line holders. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.